And welcome back guys, so today we're going to be playing some Cyberpunk 2077. I gotta take a small break from that plant crafter, I'm starting to get burnt out in that game now. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do some of these quests here. And the main goal is to clear the map of the NPC, it's like these quests. So these count as like side quests, so cyber cycle sites, the assault in progress. The goal is to clear one zone and then move to the next zone. Once it's all cleared to the point that there's nothing left for me to do, then we'll play Endgame, and then we'll go play the what, the uh, other DLC area known as Dogtown. And then that'll be the end of the Cyberpunk Remastered series. But as you can tell, there's a god awful of these little blue dots all over the place. And I will not be doing the fighting arenas, because that's not how I have this character built. I do not have a character built for PvP combat. I don't have it built for that, so. I have it built where I just take the gun out, shoot, point and shoot. <laughs> and it's not gonna fare very well in a arena. <laughs> uh, so we have to come out here. I know there is a quest over here where you end up upon scavs. And it's one of these quests over here where you do the brain dance. And unless you get your stuff on your way out, you're screwed. So we're going to leave that quest for last, if we can. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into playing some Cyberpunk 2077. All 
available units. Emergency backup requested in Haywood. Day like any other. Roger, dispatch. Hey, you. Sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this... This isn't a bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. Me. Hey, back off. Hey, you're busy here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. You fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. You really think you're fast enough with that blade? Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, come on, Pedro. That was no work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk. So what? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beating. Worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, the bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on a scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, Pete. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a... Pink jacket. And, uh, hmm. she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. It's 
Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. CD Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. We got done. We're trying to focus. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Narrate that. Passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Seriously, what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building, ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes. 
everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it, it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. My son. That's why he. Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Her own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin. Whatever it's. That she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gunk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. <laughs>
to back out anyway. Strap in, pray to your gods, and get ready to go for so, Vader! ready? Three, two, one! It's your lucky day. Oh, man. 
Check the attachment. Waiting on your seat. Thanks. Whoa! Think fleas like you just get in for free? Just chill, all right? Here. Sweet Jesus. You hear that? Do you hear what they're playing? Each to their own, Johnny. That's what peeps with bad taste always say. Don't know what he did to deserve what's coming, but his music taste is reason enough to drop it.
Hey, what have you got that's good? See for yourself. Want to have a word with your boss, Ian? Oh, you're out of luck. He doesn't really like to talk. I don't care if he likes to talk. I asked you if he was here. Uh, sure, he's upstairs in the VIP room. Just don't expect a friendly welcome. He is a drink. Yeah, that's right. Music in here is god awful. Eh, I like it. Beat keeps me awake. you how'd you get in here quiet down or i'll have to cut our convo short oh i get it got a bounty on my head have i who hired you militech asukaga or was it that wanker dino <laughs> like it even matters sit down jack i'm extending a fucking courtesy here the fact that you're still alive means i'm open to parley <laughs> parley vu go fuck yourself chit chats for assholes so let's get it over and done with you versus me. Come on. Say you win. Say you put me out of commission. You think your problems will just vanish into thin air? 
You crawled under a lot of people's skin. Said so yourself. Militech, Kasukaga, Dino. They won't stop till your head falls at their feet. So what? I'm supposed to blow my fucking brains out? No. All you have to do is leave Night City. I'll tell him you took lead between the eyes and none will be the wiser. You can start over. A brand new life. Yeah? Start with what? Everything I got's here. My club, staff, my girls. And everyone who wants you dead. This isn't a multiple fucking choice. You're living on borrowed time. Shit. Motherfucking bleeding cunt asshole. Was that a yes or a no? Just piss off and tell him the job's done. Fucking hell, if I knew you could wag your tongue like that, I could have made you NC's richest drink slinger. Wasting your talents on the streets instead of behind a bar. But cool, cool. Moss is gone, so's the problem. You get your eddies, I close the key. All good? All good. Why, what's up? Just calling to invite you to Joss's for dinner. I'd love it if you swung by. What do you say? 
be great to see all you guys. Huh? <laughs> Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. <laughs> Actually, I miss you too, River. I'll see you at Joss's. I'll see you at Joss's. Perfect. Till then. Then. Alrighty, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys next video.